Hello flirty sims, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, welcome in. My name is Lucy and today I have a different type of video. I mostly post LPs, but today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I just felt inspired to do something more Valentine's Day inspired. And I don't know, sometimes I struggle to come up with date ideas. So I thought I'd make a whole video about it. I don't think they're revolutionary. So I did separate them in a few different types of categories if you want more of these types of videos let me know down in the comments below i've also been considering posting like videos of like certain mods that i use because i'm very particular and i have like my set mods that are like my ride or die like i could not play the sims without these mods so if you would like me to make a video on that, let me know and I'll definitely post them. If you have not already, make sure to subscribe. Also, before we get started, I really wanted to say a thank you for 900 subscribers. We're almost at a thousand, which is so crazy. We unlocked the community tab. So yeah, m make sure to look out for those posts. I'll be posting polls, fun things like that. So yeah, just wanted to say thank you, but I've been talking so, so much. Let's get started. With with today's video. So for the first category, I wanted to make sort of stay at home date night ideas because sometimes your sims be broke and I think like stay at home date night is realistic. I don't think you always have to go out to go on a date. So I thought, you know what, let's come up with a few date ideas that your sims can do at home. One thing that I thought would be super cute is if your sims cook together and make it a whole date night. Cooking together allows your sims to gain relationships while cooking. And I think you can also gain a sentiment between sims. I'm pretty sure my sims have gained a sentiment because they cook together. I like to make it extra romantic by having them turn on the romantic sandalwood incense because it gets them in a flirty mood. Just set the ambiance, you know, make it really romantic for them. For the next stay at home date, I thought it would be really cute if they watch a movie together. They could actually cuddle with each other while they watch the movie. Super cute. And you could also do the romantic sandalwood incense. I also put matching PJs on my sim because I think that makes it extra cute. The next stay at home date night idea is to have your sims play video games together. Honestly, I forget that they can play video games together. I just, I don't know, I never think about it. Yeah, it's a really cute idea if you have any geek sims. So now we're moving on to activities that your sims can do together. The first one is that they can go to an art center. And I really like this one if your sims are just like creative, they have certain skills that they want to work on. The art centers and the sims are required to have a woodworking table, an easel, a musical instrument. I like to have my sims paint a mural together because that's something they can do as an activity together. But I also like to pretend that they're taking like a little painting class and have them paint on an easel and talk to each other while they're doing that. For the next activity, I like to take my sims to a karaoke bar. Obviously this is super cute, like who wouldn't have fun at a karaoke bar? It's just a cute way for them to spend some quality time together and then afterwards they could even like hang out at the bar and have some drinks, just socialize and flirt very fun i know that this is probably one of the more common date ideas but i still thought i'd include it The next activity you can have your sims do for a date night is to have them go wine tasting. This is technically a restaurant, but it's more like a themed restaurant. I actually made a custom menu and just added all the white wines and red wines that they that I could possibly add to the menu. And then I just added a charcuterie board. It's not called a charcuterie board in the sense, but that's basically what it is. And you could do like many themed dates but I think just wine tasting is so bougie, so classy. And so I was like, you know what? Let's try to recreate that in The Sims. 
moving on to places that your sims can visit for date night your sims can go to like a little bathhouse in mount Karumbi, I think that's how you say it. They can snuggle up, give each other massages. They get in a really good mood after going to a bathhouse. So I thought, you know what? We need to include this on places that your Sims can visit. Our next date idea is, um, I think it's also pretty common. Maybe people are bored of it, but I like to have my Sims visit the festivals because they can do so much in the festivals and there's different themes to them. So like the humor and hijinks festival, that would be really good for your Sims who are into like comedy and mischief. The romance festival, obviously this is an obvious one. They start feeling romantic. It's the perfect place to propose. You can even ask the romance guru for any like love questions. Maybe he ain't the one sis. The romance festival is always a good idea. I actually took my sims to the geek con festival. Yeah, it's really cool because they have like the hackathon and this is really more for sims that are geeks. If they're into like technology or rocket science, that's one of their special interests. This would be the perfect place to take those sims. There's also the spice festival. This would be a good place to take your sims that are foodies so yeah there's like different themed ones and i just like to think of it like if i were going to one of these festivals which one would i go to i would honestly go to the spice festival because i love spicy food yeah i try to like incorporate my sims personality into it as well i don't know i'm kind of i i think way too much about my my sims backstories okay <laughs> So another really good place to visit is obviously the beaches in Sulani and I like to take a step further and have them have like this romantic picnic. I like to make it extra spicy and take them to a nude beach. I'm just so extra. They can bond by like making a little sand castle and in case you didn't know your sims can also woohoo under the waterfall. It's at a specific lot. I can't remember off the top of my head but they can woohoo and they can even like kiss in the water. So that would be so freaking memorable you know what i mean like imagine your first date being at a beach and then your first kiss being inside the ocean So if your sims maybe have been together for a longer time, maybe they have kids, one of the options would be to take them camping at Granite Balls. This is a really good place to take your sims that love the outdoors and there is so much to do when you take them camping at Granite Falls. Like, you know, you can roast marshmallows by the campfire, you can tell group stories. It's very good for like family vacations, but I think it's a very good opportunity to have two sims bond together. They can also like snuggle next to the bonfire they can woohoo in the tents they can play with the horseshoe pits they can stargaze and cloud gaze and i also like to take my sims fishing because they can fish together and then if you want to like do something kind of random you can also take them to catch bugs together it's definitely one of my favorite spots to take my sim couples on vacation Taking them to a bed and breakfast on Hemper on Bagley is a good idea. Like if you had two Sims recently get married and they're looking for maybe their honeymoon place, it's technically like you're renting out the whole lot so there won't be anybody making food there unless you hire a vendor and you have like a, a chef station which you can do for a hundred dollars or a hundred simoleons but if you just want to cook there yourself then that's fine and just pretend it's a bed and breakfast but yeah it's a really cute honeymoon idea obviously they can boohoo on the bed however i will say that there's not much to do here so that's why i left it for like my last choice but like i said it you know it's a good idea to have like some honeymooners go here and if they're more chill they don't really like going outdoors or if maybe they have a lot of children and just need you know some time to themselves they can go to a bed and breakfast but yeah these are all of my date ideas let me know if you're gonna try any of them or you know if you have any any other date ideas that you guys can share with us i would love to hear your thoughts i tried really hard to make them a little bit more 
more unique and structured so i don't know i don't know how i feel about these types of videos i'm not good at doing voiceovers and it, this honestly mm, it was hard for me but hopefully with practice i get better and if you have not subscribed already make sure to do so we're almost at a thousand subscribers so thank you so so much i will see you guys in the next one bye